All right, so this is about to be real interesting right now. I have not like read up what to do. I kept saying I should either game game or stream a little Silent Hill and I decided because I really want to beat it on Monday and I don't know if I'm going to have time to be able to stream tomorrow that I should just do it. I don't remember where we were or what we were doing except these scary sounds. Oh, it looks like a save point. Oh yeah, it was like the director's office or something, wasn't it? Let me get my handy dandy maps up. Um, let's see, director's office. Where is that on this map? Yeah, it's almost... Uh, okay, there we go, director's office. So, let's figure this out. Good thing it's a save point, so if all I do is die tonight, I can just start from here again. Oh, oh! Well, okay. We're just starting right off with an enemy, but we just dodged. Maybe that means it's gonna be a good, good playthrough tonight. All right, I think what we were doing was trying to solve that puzzle, but we must have more pieces. The sounds in this are so good. Oh God. Oh, oops, 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 oops. That's not what I meant to press. Ah, do I even have a weapon? <laughs> Normally I would not waste that many bullets, but uh, <laughs> she was far too close to me. I'm still kind of figuring out these nurses. I feel like I shoot one extra shotgun bullet than I really need to do, because you can kick them when they're on the ground. Let's reload. Hey, Jonathan. Sorry, today's been crazy. Let's see how many shotgun shells we have. We're doing fine, but I may need to stop. Like, I could have probably used the handgun against that one that was farther from me. Hope you've been having a fine night. Hopefully it was somewhat productive, although that's not all that matters, but I do know that was your goal. Okay, we gotta go to the generator room, or I need to figure out where we're at. Oh yeah, that's the beauty of this game, there's maps. Okay. Oh, uh, what did you end up getting? So it'll be on the left, the first door. Right when I was setting up the stream, um, our niece was like wanting to come in. Oh, so not the very first left. Our niece was wanting to come in with me. I didn't think this was really the right game for two-year-olds. Ooh. Okay. I think that's it in here. Oh, well, hey. It's better than nothing. Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, of course. Huh, so there's not a lot we can do down here right now. So we didn't go to the storeroom or the morgue. Let's see about this door we didn't try yet. Why do I feel like this? Oh, yep, sure enough. Okay, let's, oh! oh! Wow, rigged. I was all proud that I was seeing how many shots till they fall, now I can kick her at least, right? Oh, it's only two shotgun blasts. I'm starting to think that the shotgun blasts are stronger if you're up close. There should be a health drink in here. Nice, and an ampoule. Let's check our health real quick. Whew. Not that that scared me, but that definitely surprised me. We have plenty of health drinks. Wait. Did that say stock? Oh, shotgun. Ooh, Wendy's. Honestly, I've, I have not had Wendy's in a while. I liked... Do they still have, like, the square-shaped burger? Okay, that's all we get here. Now we're going to head up to do that puzzle. Because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly... We have all of the um, the pieces of the puzzle. I was going to ask if you went to Sonic, let's be honest. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. <laughs> okay. So that hammer, what I was reading, is actually good against enemies compared to that awful metal thing that I had. Oh, yeah. What floor do we want to go to? Third floor.
Well, I hope you enjoy your food. Your dinner, Jonathan. Okay, so we gotta get down to the stairs. Really, I'm mostly playing tonight so that... To the left, and then... Okay, seems straightforward enough. Um, so that Monday, the mainstream, we can finish it. <laughs> I love how he runs into the doors. But yeah, we're probably all gonna hang out for a little bit after this. Michael's showering. Wait, I think we could have gone through the door. Yeah, whoops. Um, we might finish aliens. So, now we go to that nurse room. Hopefully finish up aliens and then, uh, Tomorrow, though, we're leaving early to go to Easter shenanigans. Okay, time for a puzzle. I was hoping um, Indigo would be here to help. Okay, I already wrote these down. Oops. The clouds, the sky. Right, okay. I wrote all this down. I assume it has something to do with our puzzle here. So we have all the things to put in. I'm sipping my drink. So, will it let me like choose where I put them? Hmm. What did Indigo say? I think he said it had something to do with the colors. Okay. But there was way more like clues in this riddle than there were, um, you know, pieces. So clouds flying over a hill, sky on a sunny day. Maybe it's what's actually on. All right, oh yeah, and I wrote down, that's why I wrote down these colors. Like what colors would be unavoidable sleeping time. Obviously, slashed wrist would be red. Do they have like a design on them? Is there a way to like look closer at these? No. Okay. I don't see much on these. Oh, that was like a, th yeah, that was like a crown. Oh, with the picture of a Mad Hatter. Okay. And that one's green. Mock Turtle. Cheshire Cat. All right, well. We're gonna wing it here. Hey, typos. So first off, I don't even know how you use them. Like, how do you tell them which one to put it in? So let's start off with the queen. Is it gonna ask us where to put it? Okay. Oh! So we have violet here. Okay. It was good, Kinetic. We actually ended up going to the, um, Okay, I think I'm getting, okay. The clouds and the sky. Oh. Wait, let me look at that one more time. I wish I had written the whole thing down. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we ended up going to the park with the little one and um, I felt like such a cheesy like family situation. It was kind of nice to do that because we live in a nice neighborhood where we're able to walk to a park at the playground, but we have no reason to ever use that. So it was nice to basically cosplay for a minute there and uh, act like we were doing it. But it did not turn into my like reading on the porch and chilling out that I planned to because obviously with the two-year-old. Okay, so the sky with the sunny. I think it's just in order. Yeah, within the green, purple. Oh, okay, this is honestly way more obvious than I thought. Hey, what's up, Holden? So, um... If you can make a Tuesday stream to be able to collect for that two mil, um, yeah, Tuesday is at 8 p.m. Central, which sounds like that might not work well with your work schedule. Um, but if you can make that, you can uh, collect any time for that. Yeah, we're doing Silent Hill today. 
Hope you've been well, Holden. It's been a while since we talked. But yeah, nature time was nice, and it's just such a beautiful weather out today. All right, so obviously that one goes there. Now, what's our next color? So the green, that would be the clover. Right before the violet. This is way... See, that's the thing with like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. They have these convoluted riddles. And then it just turns out that, I mean, without Indigo telling me it had to do with the colors, maybe I would have had a harder time. So right before the tangerine, well, it is a little bit more confusing. But yeah, obviously that would go, wait, no, I think I messed it up. Is Sunhaven a game? Yeah, I definitely messed it up, because wait, the dandelions. Never mind, not as simple as I thought, and can we take them out? Okay, good. All right, so definitely a bit more confusing than I realized. I was just going on about how they're so straightforward. Um, all right, so maybe the order isn't just, I thought it was going like the square, but I think they're kind of describing it, kind of like when we did the, uh, the piano one. Okay, so what's our next one to place? The Hatter which is green, right? Is that a green? I guess that's kind of like a turquoise. Ah, that's the turquoise. I'm not good at colors. Okay. Um, ooh, see, people keep talking about Stardew Valley and I still have not played it. I'll add Sunhaven to my list. I like like chill, not necessarily always Silent Hill level games. Oh, you're right, it did. Well, either way... So either way, the blue... Right? And then the yellow is the only kind of confusing one. Like, I assume that's supposed to be the dandelions? Or the sun? Well, whatever I did apparently worked at some point. I really like actually how it ended up looking. Okay, are we about to fight a boss battle or anything? Let me get my map out. What's going to be on the other side of here? We're about to find out. Of course. Well, not a boss, but still. Okay, so yeah, two will make him, her, them, fall. I think if you're close enough. I don't know how y'all have time to play so many games. Don't you play Genshin Impact all the time? It's always old school RuneScape for me. I don't know if you're still here, Holden, but are you still playing OSRS mainly? All right, so it's official. How close you are changes how much damage the shotgun does. Oh, so now we're on the whole other side of this, so I'll definitely need the map for this. Um, easy peasy. Let's switch it over. I know. At least the, the groaning's a little bit better than um, the weird sort of creepy sexual moan that the uh, that the kids would do. All right, so let's let's figure this out here. Um, let's go through each door. Which way are we facing? Oh, so you do still play a lot of Genshin? I still have not dabbled at all with Genshin. I assume we can unlock this door now. Nice. Okay. They move pretty fast. Okay, you should fall now. Thank you. Okay, you don't even have to kick him. Unless I'm just missing something. And where's the other one? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, did I just miss? Okay. Almost as good of camera work as Kingdom Hearts. Okay, let's kick her in case she ain't dead. Oh, she wasn't dead. And let's reload. Oh, we're good. All right, I feel like there's gonna be more bad guys in here. Sure enough. I know I've said this a million times, but this game is so much different than I thought. There's so much more combat. Okay, how many items should be in here? Just basement store? Yep, perfect. 
Let's all look at the beautiful, well-maintained hospital. I like the look of Genshin. Some people try to tell me it's a gotcha game, but I trust, um, I trust Lauren's perspective and yours, but I trust that when Lauren assured me that it's not like that. I wonder what it'd be like to try and dodge all the enemies. Cause like, for instance, this is the only item we need here, I think. Or that's even in there. All right, so then there's just one more item to get. Yes, this is a cozy little place here. And then what? Oh, obviously we'll use that storeroom key. Yeah, what, how Lauren worded it is like, of course you can pay to kind of manipulate the game a bit, but that you can also just grind to get it. Someone tried to tell me there's no way you could grind enough to get the same, but I guess what they probably meant is obviously if you, you can't make up for paying, how do I word it? You can never grind to overcome someone who pays for it. Right, you could you could do free to play if you choose to. Cheers. Nice, but now you've paid a bit. All right, let's go to the basement and use that key. And then I'll switch over to the other map because for whatever reason that map doesn't have the basement part. Okay, so the only place was that storeroom. Yeah, I have no qualms with the game that allows, but is it one of those games, isn't a gotcha game supposed to be where you pay for like a roulette kind of thing, which then you have a chance of getting? Oh yeah, it is like that, because you can get certain anim um, certain characters. I don't know, Michael played one for a while. I don't know if Battle Frontier qualifies as one, but we both played that. I never paid a dime, but because you could get like free spins every so often. All right, what all should be in here? According to my little map, there should be handgun bullets and shotgun shells. Well, we found the shotgun shells. Mm -hmm. There they are. All right, that can't be all that this incredibly important key got us here. Oh. Oh yeah, you can kind of see like a, an area it can be moved. It's been a while since we saved. I hope we don't. I don't think there's any like surprise kills in this game. I mean, there's surprise enemies. All right, so let me check my map. No items in here. There are gonna be some items coming up here though. I love the camera angles in this. A hallway under the grate. Cameras. All right, so I assume we can't just shotgun our way through it. What items do we have? Well, the unknown liquid indigo kind of spoiled for me and said that's for later. So is that. So that's against like an optional boss, but since we're going for the good ending, we have to do it. You had to get them all? Yeah, that's how my husband was too. Um, there was another game we started spending money on too. I hear someone's ruckus. Are you already done showering? We'll, uh, we'll stream for another like 20 minutes or so. Okay, so the only items that we haven't used, yeah, is just the lighter and the disinfecting. So, obviously when you mix alcohol and lighter. Oh, we're just, all right. And let's light this bitch up. Okay, let me look at my map. <laughs> Looks like there's some, we got some rooms, but not a lot of them even have many items in them. The Archons. I like everything I hear about Genshin and I love the look of it. Ooh, I love the look of this hallway for a different reason than what I like about Genshin. <gasps> okay, kick that bitch. Okay, I guess you don't want to. Ooh. Oh, we're still, okay. 
Come on, could we look at the enemies on the ground? Are they dead? Um, I would say it was probably more based off of 2, which is the one I had played before. Um, based on what I remember from the movie, it's been a while since I watched it. Actually, maybe Michael and I would want to watch that tonight. Um, we don't have a map of this, do we? Okay. Um, just because I remember, like, he is, he is looking for his daughter, like, oh! Shoot the other one. No, shoot the other one. Okay. Kick her. She ain't... Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Okay. Why did I even go through that door? According to my map, there's not even an item in there. Wasted shotgun bullets. Well, there should be a door here, though. According to my map... Yeah, so the second one has pyramid head. Oh, okay. At least we didn't waste our bullets then. We haven't gone in this hallway yet. What might make me mad is if that didn't count as killing those. So here's where I thought that door was. Yeah, so Silent Hill 2 for sure has Pyramid Head. Now, we haven't gotten to Pyramid Head if he's in this one, but I'm pretty sure he's not because in Silent Hill 2, he kind of comes up every so often. Okay, there's a videotape. That's it for this room. Oh, there's only one other item in this whole basement. It's kind of weird. It looks like it's the last door on the left. Last house on the left. What's this? Yeah, I've been asking the same thing, Kinetic. I would love if he shows up. He's so epitomal to the series. Looks like someone's been here. Growing up, we owned Silent Hill 2, and then we ended up... My mom got me Silent Hill 3 because she knew I loved these. And I ended up actually liking it. It was... Um, I had it for PC, which was kind of different. I only really did like, well, I did a lot of games on PC. What am I talking about? For some reason I thought of Silent Hill is not PC. Why is it so quiet in here? There we go. Yeah, I got it. Pick up the key. So I swear this isn't because I've seen the movie or because I've played Silent Hill 2. Okay, I guess that's all there was of this whole basement. There's a lot of backtracking for no reason. Um, I'm getting the feeling Alessa is probably his daughter and she's not such a good thing or something. It's kind of seeming obvious since she's the only girl and then I'll probably be wrong, but that's what I'm getting the feeling of. All right, so we got an examination room key. So where is that on my map? Oh, actually, this says you can optionally go for the video. Where was the VCR at? Um, well, either way, we gotta go up the elevator, so let's get there. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Wait, there's two of them? I think I've only seen the first one. Okay, where even are we? Oh, we're in the actual basement. Okay, so... We could just finish this, but for content, let's go ahead and find where the, where is the video, the VCR at? The VCR is on floor, oh, third floor. That's gonna be kind of a headache to get to, but let's use the elevator. I think we can take the elevator to third floor. Cause I guess this is optional, but for the content and maybe it's gonna reveal that Alessa is Cheryl, cause that's my theory right now. Yeah, I remember that well, honestly, like, let's think about it. Final Fantasy movie, Resident Evil movie. I feel like most video game adaptations get a lot of hate. And I'm just going to say, I liked Welcome to Raccoon City, the recent Resident Evil. Not that it was a good movie, but... And it was just full of, like, fan... Oh, it even tells me where to go. Okay, video. Nice. Because I had searched it before. Um, it was just full of a bunch of, like... References to trying to appease fans, but I'm like, that's fine. I love the first Resident Evil movie, but it definitely didn't seem... It seemed like it was created by someone who's never played a single one of the games. Except knew what liquors were, and that's about it. Oh, yay, and there's a save point here, too. But, um, yeah, welcome to Raccoon City, even if it felt kind of forced and tacky. Did, um... I thought did a good job of trying to incorporate a bunch of scenes we would recognize and 
My brother told me to watch that. I thought it was going to be an actual video. Disappointed. Waste of my time. Where's the examination room? I know it's on first floor, but where is it at? Oh, it's like back where we came in from the very beginning of this place. Is there going to be a boss, though? Let's see. No. Okay. Easy enough. All we do is go to the examination room. Probably save. I don't know if there'll be another save before. This will be perfect timing. Although now I'm worried we might not finish this on Monday unless I get an extra stream because I guess there is more to this game. We go to like the resort area. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. All right. So let's get to the first floor. I think we can just take the stairs down. We don't have to take the elevator, I don't think. Yeah, I still have not seen the recent Mortal Kombat. There was another... What was it? Oh, Hellraiser. That's not a video game, though. My younger brother said that was good, and that was... I mean, it was... Good enough. Okay, so... We need to get to the examination room. Yeah, whatever. Really? Shotgun straight, straight to the chest. They have like something growing out of their back. Good, good. Should probably reload just in case. Um, we're probably, we're really low on shotgun shells. I really need to stop using that all the time. Should I switch? Well, but at this point, ah, oh, fuck. I kept talking like we have such an abundance of ammo. At least I've kind of learned the controls a bit more so I can start ducking and dodging more. Oh, a normal person? That like leathery sound? It's kind of awkward. Someone else who's okay. Who are you? Okay, let's pull up my map because I guess we're gonna go to the antique shop next. Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awesome. Alright, so Michael's done showering. So you don't so know think We'll just get to the antique shop and save there, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I just want to keep playing. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Cause I didn't even get to the boss that I wanted to get to. I guess there's a moth or something. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old. A seven-year-old girl. What? She's your daughter? <laughs> the way they talk. A seven year old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. Uh. Right. Questionable. Like, they did such a good job with the sound in this, but the way they talk. Like, it's only in the basement. Look at this place. strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. Like that was the only weird place? So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn. My head. What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. So she doesn't hear the sirens? Too late. 
it's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Dahlia Gillespie. I like her so far. She's been the only one speaking Tell true. Everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Well, kind of obtuse about it. about I don't understand a word of this believe the evidence of your eyes the let me reach behind my back that is your destination this is beyond my abilities only you can stop it now have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town yeah, I used to, I know what you're talking about, when like the siren would come on and it would get really, really, I mean, honestly, I don't know if you're here for it, but when they first switched to the darkness in this one, they did a really good job of adding this really scary feel to it. And that is, in real life, like the king of the devils or whatever, the lord of the devils. Okay, so where even are we? We're in the normal hospital now? Yeah. Okay, so we could just save and quit here, but what's this? Isn't that what she left us? Pick it up, ho. Thank you. All right, so let's at least get to the antique shop because I have it ready on my map. You know me and I love my maps. But it's just funny because they act like the regular world's normal, but this is not normal. You should not have monsters wandering around your town and snow falling all the time. Am I, am I crazy? Okay, so we are going to go to so the antique shops way up there. Antique Green Lion. So two streets and take a left. What these sounds? Oh god. Okay, real quick, let me change the handgun though. Or maybe the um Well we have plenty of handguns, bullets. Yeah, I should have been using those against the nurses. I love that music or sound or whatever you call it. I just need to make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Run! Right, let me take the correct one. Oh, and was I even supposed to get like items along the way or anything? No. Okay. Where do I go? I hear some sort of sound. Is it those monkey people? We're just running past anything at this point. Is our radio changed its sound or? All right, so we should be getting close to it. This sound, little town center, such a lovely welcoming sound to your town center. It's a lovely antique shop. All right, I guess I gotta save and quit now. I don't wanna stop though. I don't know, was there a save point in the other world version too? Oh, it's a little dark. But yeah. Is there any items in here? I'm sad, guys. I don't want to go already. Let's see. Yeah, it sounds like we're about to watch a movie. So we're going to go watch our movie time because I need to go to bed early so that I can get up early and drive. Oh, we just pulling out the gun right away. Oh, the cop's back. Barco, did you just get here? Because that would be so funny if you did. 
Well, we'll finish this scene and save. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left <laughs> Barco. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. Like Finishing now. Yeah, I think it's uh I think there's a way to make it where it's only ones that you want to show up for um, Twitch alarms, but yeah, that's what I figured, Kinetic, but you said there's two movies, so then I started wondering. But yeah, definitely Pyramid Head is, oh no, movies, I'm wrapping up. I know, I really want to keep playing though. Only up through like the moth boss is where I want to get, because then... After that, we just do the sewers. I guess there's. I guess I can't finish it on Monday because I do have to do the side quest for the good ending. I guess I was getting a little ahead of myself. Let me make sure Michael's actually doing the movie. After this scene, when we save, I'll run out and make sure we're actually about to watch the movie. Because if the sisters are going out anyways, then. Oh yeah, I do remember them making that one kinetic. Okay, I didn't pay good attention, but she's acting like now because she saw someone walking in thin air. She's concerned, but when there are random monsters wandering around, how is no one talking about the monsters? He's worried about Dahlia. She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness what? You're going to call that gibberish? Drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. There's dogs randomly attacking you in the street. There's little demon babies. Even if he blames it on only in the alternative world that some of the enemies are. Drug trafficking, I do remember, has something to do with it. All right, this cutscene's a little longer than expected, and this dialogue's a little questionable. What's this? Just discovered it. <laughs> Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. <laughs> Wait. We don't know what's back there. We don't know what's back there. I better check it out first. <laughs> I need to look up who does the voice acting. Oh, everyone's coming on now. Hey, Chess. I'm wrapping up after we save after this. Well, actually, I'm first going to ask Michael to confirm we're actually doing it. Okay. Yes, Jill, the master of lockpicking. Yeah. Do you know anything about... Well, like some other... But hey, Chess, I hope you're well. It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. Okay, I know it's probably getting annoying for me to keep saying this, but why do they keep acting that only that world has enemies when even when I'm just walking through the town? I met this nurse, Lisa. It would have made more sense if they didn't have the enemies in the regular world. But not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> you can make good money. I bet if we looked it up, these are like world famous Hollywood actors or something. I was just wondering. Oh, he kind of added something there. I was, that was better. And I can get it when it's like a Japanese game that they then had English actors do. Yeah, maybe. Or English speaking. Her face. I love uh, early 3D graphics. Oh, shoot. Can I not save real quick? Wow. Whoopsie. Well. I hope there's a save point. Well, you know what? I can really save at any point if this does, like, throw me into anything. Oh, it looks nice. What's this? Some kind of altar. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church.
Okay, let me go ask Michael what the plan is. Because we're either going to continue or we're going to save here and quit. But then I promise you that tomorrow night or during the day on Monday, we'll do some more Silent Hill so I can finish it on Monday. Even if we got to, like, do a bunch. Okay, unfortunately, hope you enjoy the chair stream. Michael's all set up in the basement. So we're gonna wrap it up tonight, but um, yeah, like I said, tomorrow night. Oh, could you hear me all the way over there? <laughs> all right, well, I love you all. I'm sorry for getting off now that a couple of y'all just got on. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Otherwise, for sure, a couple times on Monday. Peace.